Hello everyone, Sunday Talk 2, welcome to another mod overview, this time on Wooded Man, a mod that lets the ability for you to tattoo your character with different symbols and you'll get certain abilities. What you want to do though is get a tattoo needle, which you can find in dungeons or from a tattoo artist villager, which I happened to get the chance of spawning in pretty easily, so that was convenient. Um, Obviously, if you wanted to trade, you'll want eight emeralds and an enderpearl to get one tattoo needle. I'll actually do this now and see what other trades they have. Kind of shift click into the slot. Just do that and see what happens. If they have any other trades, which they may not. I think I turned particles off. Minimal, yeah. So try again. Please don't fall off the tree. And it seems that's the only trade they have. Once you have a tattoo needle, you can right click and then select certain locations on the diagram here. And obviously, there's a bunch of different dyes which will determine the tattoo's color, most likely, that you'll be. Um, placing on your character. So for head for example, or forehead in particular, you've got magic resistance, or you've got projectile protection, you've got the right pectoral, which you can give damage resistance or thorns, the left one, pretty much the same, the abdominal, you've got damage, fire and explosion resistance, the right palm, you've got chisel fist, iron fist, Flaming Fist and Stone Fist. For thighs, you've got damage resistance and fire resistance. And then for feet, you've got feather falling and jump boost. And when it comes to others, I'm pretty sure you're getting pretty much similar. Just obviously two lots of it, and obviously on the backing. So we've got fire resistance there, the difference there. Okay, so fire resistance only on the back, but you've got damage resistance on the front. So there's a few differences there that aren't in the other. So let's put a few on, for example. So we'll just go magic resistance and go ink sack, and then we'll tattoo it. And you'll use up the one needle, so you'll probably use up these quite a bit. Um, I'm assuming. Yep, so you can't really tell, I don't think, it's just a thing you sort of witness um, in the GY. So, magic resistance we've got, and then projectile protection. So we'll actually try with a witch, for example, so, so that's where we'll get our magic protection. And we'll get a skeleton as well and see how that goes too. So we'll just go back into normal. We'll see how much damage we take now compared to usual. Poison, only so much. Instant damage. Anything else? Possibly not. They're kind of trying, but not really. They're also getting themselves hurt, so that's always great. Um, so yeah. Try with projectile one just in case as well. Try health. And we'll go back into normal. We'll remove. Actually we can't do that, but we will demonstrate how to. So if you want a tattoo remover, you want an existing tattoo needle on you. Diamond and ender dye, which is an ender pearl and dye colour. If we click on here and remove it, it'll remove a single tattoo remover. So if we apply, say, projectile protection here, we'll go to there, see how much of a difference that makes. Since I think it was two quarters there, so we'll see how much of a difference that makes, and possibly also at night, because that'll determine it a lot better. And I'll just get the skeleton off. So we'll try again. 
so only about half a heart I'm assuming there. Not too bad, which I think it's usually on normal about one and a half typically. So that's not too bad, that's still quite a bit of a reduction even though it is just one quarter or half because I've got both here, so yeah. If we go to, for example, damage resistance compared to thorns, we'll see what we get there. And applying enough to both. And then we'll check the back as well. We'll see how much you get from four of these, which it's going to be one twelfth for each one, so this will be equivalent of a quarter. We'll see with projectile at least how that is. Besides, so just say a zombie or something else attacking us. Um, obviously, I'm going to do this without armor just so you can get an idea, but obviously, armor might reduce it even more, possibly. So we're only taking one heart of damage here from the zombie. And we'll just get rid of him real quick. And we'll spawn in a skeleton. And we'll see... half a heart of damage. Even though we don't have the projectile protection there. So actually remove these and we'll see how much we get with thorns. So we'll try thorns and we'll just go cyan here. We'll see how much damage we inflict on them besides how much we defend ourselves. Um, and we'll see if it actually defeats them fairly easily. Or and to see if the chances are fairly high compared to being only every so often. So, yeah, doesn't seem to be anything going on with the skeleton at least. Apparently nothing there. Which is interesting. So I'll we'll try with a zombie instead. We'll see because obviously you need um, them to actually harm you in a melee type way, not projectile, so not too bad. Uh, we have obviously... we go with... Abdominal, damage we've already witnessed, fire resistance we'll see, and explosion resistance we'll see. How much of a difference that makes try on the back, so explosion resistance we can do for that. We'll actually try it with a creeper rather than say a wither or gust fireball. This will be able to turn the explosion on better and close up. So not too bad, even when almost next to the creeper, well as close as need be. So quite useful. And that's just removing a quarter, so that was removing half the damage there. And that's not counting the armor either. So if we actually go to fire resistance, we'll actually see how much that makes a difference as well. And it only works that way. So try with. And that was not what I wanted. Okay. Actually get some lava and find out that way then. And not take as much damage, either from some source like a skeleton or something else. Okay, so let's see, where do we want to go with this? Okay, so we'll go somewhere. Here we go. Still a bit of something nearby, but we can dig a bit further down if need be. Uh, so, yeah, we'll try this with the protection we have, even though I think it was, what, fire? Not actually lava, so not exactly the same thing, but we'll try either way and see which one works. Um, let's see then. 
So we'll try this. So possibly a bit slower than usual. Let's see, I don't want to move the lava too much. And we'll try lava. Don't know if we got a bit of healing there, which was a bit odd. Possibly? I actually have to try that again. Um, it was probably just hunger regenerating the health there. So possibly not much going on there. But a bit slower on taking fire damage, I'm assuming. 